presentation on best practice in school linking as part of the afternoon session focusing on best practice in Scotland. So we realise that not all of you um, will be teachers and not all of you will have a school link but um, hopefully you'll find the session interesting and, um, and it's important to look at school linking as it's a popular and recognised way that schools can incorporate global citizenship and development education into their school curriculum. So, um, above um, you can see some of the aims of today. So, first of all we're going to look a bit about what are the principles of a good partnership and what outcomes can we have hope to achieve from school linking. Give you some tips on how to embed global citizenship in your partnership dilemma of fundraising in school partnerships and then summarise um, some of the best practice outcomes from this session. Okay, so first of all just to give you a little background into Link Community to Development um, and why we're giving a session on school, school linking. So Link Community Development is a charity working in five countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Those are Ghana, Ethiopia, Uganda, Malawi, South Africa. Um, our main focus in the country that we work in is capacity building and school performance review which involves school self-evaluation. But in Scotland we also run the Link Schools programme. Um, Link has been running the Link Schools programme for over 15 years. In Scotland we've been running it since 2006 <coughs> and we've been working on the programme since 2007. From the Scottish office in Edinburgh, we facilitate um, currently 64 links <coughs> Scottish schools and the countries mentioned there. Um, and we do have staff on the ground in all the countries that we're working with, who have skills, expertise, and dedication to support all the schools involved in the program. First of all, I just want to get you thinking a little bit about what do you feel are the principles of a good partnership? So I want you to just to turn to your neighbour very quickly and think about what would be the three, three key principles of a good partnership. Just got about 30 seconds for this. <laughs> Um, and the best 
cases, partner schools will learn together about global issues and from each other. And there's a quote here from a school in Scotland which recognises this. They say, thanks to the link, the children are far more aware of what other countries in Africa are like. They're more respectful and tolerant of different cultures and people and relate better to current issues in the media, such as fair trade. So from a, from a link study that was recently carried out in schools in the UK and Uganda, and the results in the UK showed that through the link, pupils in the UK increased their knowledge and understanding of global issues and that having a partnership made this learning real, which I guess is the difference between having a link and not having a link, the, the realness of the learning. So, um, a skill that engages in best practice would hope to develop an understanding of the challenges which the partner schools face in terms of teaching and learning, as well as school management issues, and seek to build on their partner school's strengths, experiences and knowledge. School linking can take this further. Um, a school can help to support their partner school's improvement, support capacity building and professional development of teachers in both the north and the south. There are some quotes here from schools in Uganda which highlight the benefits that they've experienced from linking. So these are schools in the sun, a school in the Sydney that said our link has created exposure to new ideas and has increased the capacity of the teachers and parents and this has resulted in a remarkably improved academic performance of the school. They also feel that they're more informed in their counterparts in the non-link schools. We've now got more of an appetite for teaching than we did have previously. Now other teachers come here to learn from us as role models. So in order to achieve this, we need to make sure that the activities benefit both partner schools are and are in line with the school's development plans, their goals and priorities. Many schools have <coughs> successfully achieved this via reciprocal visits, but for other schools we can hope to achieve the same via sharing of assessment strategies, school improvement plans, lesson plans, classroom management ideas also, so we can support the CPD in both the North and the South to maximise the potential of the linking. Another outcome we have here is a very low citizenship in the curriculum. So a school that would demonstrate best practice in linking would ensure that the partnership is based around um, learning together in the curriculum. And it would also link it to the curriculum for excellence, experience and outcomes. We've got some examples here of schools that are already achieving this said that the link is helping them to think about what interdisciplinary activities they want to do and they feel that it supports curriculum for excellence and links already to what they want to see. So it's, it's an evolutionary process. And there are lots of examples of schools um, that have linked it to the curriculum for excellence. We can talk a bit more about this in the workshop that follows. Improving the quality of education. Again, from a study that was done in Uganda. Some of the results here are shown that um, the Ugandan schools, the learners improved in both reading and writing skills, um, and it's helped to raise the level of the learners' thinking capacity and help them with reading and writing. So linking can really help to improve the quality of education, and we'd hope that the benefits would be seen in both countries. There are also some examples here about how it can improve, how it can promote equal involvement and by having a partner school and getting involved, it can increase the levels of self-esteem in girls in particular. <coughs> some quick tips here for how you can actually embed the link in your school. Many of these you might have seen already. But forming a linking committee um, and facilitating a whole school approach is probably one of the best ways of doing that. It's involving as many people as possible and linking them to the next one, involving your school community as well. You have to raise, raise the profile as well as um, making sure it's embedded within the link. Including it in your school improvement plan, getting a little SMT involved in doing that, and then having a partnership agreement so you're setting out what you hope to achieve in the link as well as regularly evaluating it as well. Some other ones that we've mentioned there already, making sure that it's linked to curriculum for excellence and other school initiatives such as um, you might already be doing fair trade, 
great is respecting skills award, the Nuclear Skills Award. Um, introducing clustering and networking, promoting your link and networking with other schools that are doing similar. As I mentioned earlier, you can get lots of support from other organisations already working in the field of development education. A reciprocal visit is a great way of strengthening your link as well as um, raising the profile and um, making it more sustainable and then joint curricular projects. It's one of the main ways um, that we would that we work together with a partner school. Just running out of time just now, but I just wanted to highlight quickly some of the themed resources that already exist through LINK that are um, the copies at the back there. So we have some themed resources on the Millennium Development Goal themes, environment, health, poverty, gender, for example, which are a series of lesson plans which you can work on together with a partner school or on your own as well will help you to embed school assistantship in the curriculum. Just a few pictures there of schools that are doing this. Fundraising, I think we're just about out of time so I might not be able to go into that just now. <laughs> um, but just very quickly to summarise, um, some outcomes and best practice. So in summary, hopefully if you have a fully functioning supported link, it can ideally result in improve, improved building in both the northern and the southern school um, will enable you to embed global citizenship throughout the curriculum and lead to quality education in both schools, in, in both sides of the partnership. Thank you. And